was a Freemason, my grandfather was, so I asked to join and they, um, they were delighted and I had to have uh, a, an informal interview, got asked a few questions um, and then the date was set uh, for when I joined. Um, I uh, had my, uh, my joining ceremony and then the rest is history and that was 20, 20 years ago now but I still remember it like it was yesterday. My interest in Freemasonry was very much sparked at an early age. I remember seeing my father and grandfather going off to meetings and very much enjoying their Freemasonry. I've become very much attracted to the history and mysticism surrounding Freemasonry. At the same time, I was very much or heavily involved with scouting before going to university. And Freemasonry, for me, very much followed on from that. So I joined Masonry for a few reasons. Uh, the, mainly, the main one being for, to extend my uh, circle of friends. Secondly, because I was you know, an inquisitive mind, I wanted to know a bit more about the history of Freemasonry. I was asked to join by uh, a good friend of mine, my next door neighbour, uh, and at the time he asked me to um, put a, a letter to, into the, the lodge that I was interested in joining and what I could offer the lodge as a, as a man and the things that I could to, to bring. So once that was approved, that letter, I went in for a short interview, met some of the the guys and um, I, I, was, I was happily approved which is great. When I joined Freemasonry I thought I was just joining a single lodge but actually I've joined a much larger community. I've made, made very good lifelong friends from a, from a number of different lodges. We now have a young masons uh, club called the Essex Cornerstone Club which pr provides an opportunity for like-minded individuals to come together and take part in social and charitable activities throughout the year. So in Freemasonry we sometimes have to stand up and do some talking um, and the good thing about that is that I can take that back to my, my work environment as a transferable skill. So being able to have that confidence and stand up and talk to people um, almost with authority um, gives me a good standing at work. First of all, it's enabled me to meet people from various backgrounds that uh, I don't think I would have had the opportunity of meeting before. Um, I travel for work quite a lot, so whether that's local or international, um, I've got a great connection uh, across the world. Um, I think secondly, it's given me great life skills. In our lodge meetings, we stand up and we, and we present and we talk, and that's great. And we do the same at work, so it gives me confidence at work. And then I think the other thing is coming to our meetings is a, is a good space away from the busyness of uh, life and um, uh, work in, in general. My initiation was actually very exciting. Although initially it appeared quite daunting, the actual ceremony itself was very personal and comforting and something that I will, will remember and treasure forever. I was in a room with, um, with lots of people that I knew, um, lots of people that I didn't know. It was a, a warm, friendly environment. It was a fantastic story, it really was, uh, which continues throughout your Masonic journey. Um, and then after the meeting, uh, we had a lovely meal and a few drinks, and, and I think that, that's what it's all about. My initiation ceremony is quite special, and it's special to, to every Freemason that joins. What I was blown away by was the amount of work that went in for that ceremony by lots of people that I'd never met before and people that came up to you afterwards, you, you almost feel like a, a superstar afterwards because everyone is there for you and for your initiation and you will automatically have these great friends around you um, and friends for life. Ceremonies are things which uh, take us back to our roots of medieval stonemasons, but also bring in some aspects of learning and personal development. And there's three ceremonies that we do quite often. The first is the ceremony of initiation. That brings a candidate into Freemasonry. And it really allows that candidate to reflect on who they are, on the fact that when everybody comes into this world they come in as equals and that as life progresses sometimes people do better than other people and it teaches us that we need to be mindful of that and see what we can personally do to help out those people who are less well off than us. The second ceremony or the second degree that teaches us to better ourselves, to reflect on who we are 
how we fit into the world, how we can make ourselves better people through education. And then the final ceremony, the third degree, that teaches us that perhaps we only have so long on this world, that uh, we're all mortal and that we really need to make the most of the, our time here.